was you. Mishkan Pognon Kwena Dishnagas Mangdodam. Hi everybody. It's Sandy Boucher here once again. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of Seine River First Nation in Northern Ontario, Treaty 3 Territory. And I'm here with the July 28th Facebook Live video. And this one, we're going to talk about the Golden Rule today. And what I love the most about this rule is that it applies to so many circumstances. It is not specific to Indigenous engagement. It applies to any situation where someone is trying to increase engagement with a group of people that is different from who they are. Now, as I was saying, this golden rule applies in so many circumstances. And I've seen this rule forgotten, ignored, abandoned through my entire career. So let's think of some scenarios here. You are, I've been in the situation that as an adult woman, as a parent, I was tasked with creating an event for youth. So there's a case where I'm focusing on engagement with a group that I don't belong to. Uh, often I still see companies and nonprofits that want to increase their engagement with indigenous communities and they're not indigenous. So there's another case. It is all of those cases where this golden rule is going to apply. If you want to bring your stress down, if you want your event to be successful, if you want your engagement levels to go up, you need to imply this golden rule. So here it is. Have you waited long enough? And by the way, before I share what the golden rule was, because I'm into teasing you, obviously, I just want to remind you that all of these Facebook Lives, after I'm done recording them or shooting them and sharing them with you, I do master it, add in the subtitles, and then I upload it to my YouTube channel. So if you wanted to share it with someone, you can easily share the Facebook Live version or you have the YouTube version with the subtitles as well. Good to know, Tammy. Jen's here. Awesome. Okay, I've teased you long enough. Are you ready for this rule? This is worth having a pen and paper. And in the mastered version, I will put it right on the screen to make it easy for you. Here it is. Nothing for us or about us without us. Okay, I'm going to repeat it one more time and then I'm going to explain it. Nothing for us or about us without us. Which means if you are tasked with organizing a youth event and you yourself are not a youth, then it is mandatory that you get youth on your planning committee. Why? They know what that target group needs instead of you doing a ton of research, instead of you doing your best guess, instead of you stressing out to the nines and praying like you wouldn't believe reach out to the people that know. We put ourselves in these ridiculous situations where either we expect ourselves or others expect us to have knowledge we can't have because we don't belong to that group. And we have to start getting okay with that. Canadian history highlights that for us. We have example after example of the devastation suffered by Indigenous communities because another group believed they knew what was in our best interest. And that was assimilation and to become them. That is not the answer. So if you want to increase Indigenous engagement for an event, get Indigenous people on that planning committee. You are going to be totally surprised. They're going to have different ways to market. 
they're going to use different wording. They're going to have different vehicles, different ways. Maybe they don't advertise in the paper. Maybe they do advertise on the side of a bus. Whatever the case may be, they know how to reach their group. And here's why. At the absolute best, all you have is an outsider's view of whatever group you're trying to engage with. You know the what they do, but you might not know the why they do it. The people in that group know the why. Now, in every single circumstance that I've come across, and I'm not saying that applies to everyone, but everyone I've encountered, the people that don't follow the golden rule are not following it because they're trying to protect their jobs. It becomes about them and worrying about looking like they can't do their jobs when in fact reaching out to a planning committee, organizing a planning committee that is made up of people with that internal knowledge actually shows that you're excellent at your job. It's gonna be a way more successful event if you actually reach out to the members of that group. So one more time, here is the golden rule for you. Nothing for us or about us without us. Nothing for us or about us without us. Whatever group, trying to reach out to seniors, get seniors on your planning committee. Trying to reach out to newcomers, get newcomers on your planning committee. Trying to reach out to Indigenous people in your area, get Indigenous people on your planning committee. I hope that makes sense. You know what? It probably seems incredibly simplistic to a lot of you. You know what my mom would say to that? Wisdom is always simple. We make things difficult. So there you have it. It works. Try it. And by the way, if you do try it, email me. I'd love to hear the results. Until tomorrow, I hope that helped. Once again, keep in mind, if you want to see the mastered version, it'll be up on YouTube probably in an hour or so. Until next time, I love you. Take care of you. Bye-bye.